what is going on everybody so today i'm going to be showing you a quick little tutorial on um how to install siren mastery because a lot of people have been having issues with this i don't blame you guys uh there's just so much to it it's a three-part installation so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go into our siren mastery we're going to go to our documentation and license and then we're going to go to our readme i'm just kidding um there's installation and custom there's so many of these any of these that look like google chrome it's just going to take you to an internet site that shows you how to do it um then there's siren uh, we want the documentation right here and so we're going to read how to do this it tells you right here uh installation three parts there's a video tutorial that you can just kind of click the link if you you want some extra help that's elbows video uh he's not really handling a lot of the stuff anymore so what we're going to do right now is I've already made a backup. So we're just going to go ahead and delete our Siren Mastery. And we're going to follow this step by step. So the first part is copy and paste the entire contents of uh, G uh, download to GTA 5 folder into your own Grand Theft Auto folder. So it says to do that. I'm not going to do that because I already have most of this in here. So we're going to take our Siren Mastery DLL and our Siren Mastery we're going to go ahead and plug it right into our plugins uh, and we're going to replace it. That's fine because uh, I'm not changing anything other than the DLL, which is perfectly fine because it's not going to affect anything. So we're going to go ahead, preset sirens and installation. So the next thing that we're going to do, um, and I'll show you just because this is, this just makes my life easier. So I'm going to open my MRC which you don't have to do. You can just go to your open IV, but because I never know where my open IV is, uh, it's just easier for me to open this and then I can go ahead and click on my open IV. It's going to open it for me. And then I'm going to go ahead to my windows. Uh, MRC, for those of you who don't know, stands for Mod Resource Center for LSPDFR. It's right up here when you open the application. This is the app that I designed. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And go into and make sure we follow we're going to navigate to mods uh, x64 audio sfx resident so mods x64 audio sfx and then we want to find resident right here and then it tells us right click so we're going to open that and then go to our vehicles.awc and we're going to right click it and then export to dot wave. All right, we're going to do that. And it's going to ask us where we want to export that. And we want to do that right into our plugins uh, slash siren mastery. So you can see I'm already here because I've done this before. So you're just going to go to your GT5 plugins, siren mastery, and then right in here, Okay, wait a few seconds uh, for OpenIV to extract the file. So, yep, I don't need to do anything. We're just going to select that folder. And then it's going to go ahead and extract all that. You should now have the following folder, Grand Theft Auto 5 plugins, masteries, uh, slash vehicles. So if I did this correctly, in here, we've got Siren Mastery and we've got vehicles. And so it exported all of the vehicles to the dot wave. Awesome. <clears throat> it should contain the various uh, uh, dot wave files. If you ever install new in-game sirens using OpenIV, repeat part two to configure them for Siren Mastery as well. So just remember that if you ever install new in-game sirens, which you don't really have to do because Siren Mastery will handle that. Now the next part is loading Siren Mastery. You can load Siren Mastery in game by typing load plugin uh, Siren Mastery DLL into the Rage plugin hook console. Uh, alternately add Siren Mastery to your startup plugins. So what that's telling me is I can go ahead and again in my MRC because I'm too lazy to go up here and double click on this. I'm going to just click on my Rage plugin hook and it's going to start everything for me. That's one of the other benefits of having this mod is it just kind of makes it easy to just, it's all right there.
All right. So now what it's telling me, by the way, I know I just canceled the hook. Um, I can just go into my plugins and then I can always click this and you can see load these plugins on startup and just click it and it'll start it up. But I'm not going to do that um, because it has a tendency to crash the game if it doesn't load everything first. So we're just going to go ahead and leave it how it was, at least for my game. I don't know how about your guys' games. Um, again, it's kind of on a game by game basis. What do you have installed? You know, what all are you running? Because uh, I know NVE with my game t had a tendency to crash a lot. Anyway, so we're going to load up our game. And this is going to take a little bit of time. So in the process. So it does give you this optional right here. It says you can remove the default GTA 5 horn siren key bind, uh, binding in the following menu. Uh, go to GTA 5 pause menu, uh, settings, key bindings, cars, bikes, boats, uh, horn. Select it and then press delete to remove the key binding. Doing this will reduce unexpected game behavior, but is not required. If you use a controller, I recommend checking out this modification by Adelco24 to remove unnecessary controls, uh, like bringing up your phone. And for some reason, it's kind of like, I'll go ahead and close out my, my mod. You can go ahead and close out that mod. Okay, so for whatever reason... Got the hook in here going, but it does not want to play. Something's telling me that Steam is not working the way it's supposed to. So it's going to time out here in a second. We're just going to go ahead and end my task. <clears throat> this is just a little side note, something fun for you to know. Um, go ahead and double click on Steam again. It should start updating it again. And then hopefully it won't time out before it gets to the point that I can load it back up. Otherwise, it's just going to make me reload Rage Plugin Hook. Connecting Steam account. Super Stacy 2011. Now, what's that about, home? Okay, okay. But it's still not loading. So we're going to go ahead and click cancel on that. Again, because I'm too lazy to move my mouse over here. I just like this, obviously. You know, it's my program. Get excited about it. Validating hook, going through all this, launching game via Steam. Went through that. Okay, now we know it's going to start loading because it actually brought it up. Uh, sometimes it just gets buggy like that. I've seen a lot of questions uh, people ask where they're like, well, how do I do this? Well, how? Do, why isn't it doing this? Like, we don't know. Um, it could have just been a bug. It could have been a one-time thing. It could have been a multi-thing, multi-time thing. We don't know. Okay. Now, while that's loading, Probably not a good idea for me to go ahead and do what I just did, but we're going to do it anyway. So I want you guys to pay close attention to this. There's only config, custom sirens, UI vehicles, and then siren switch, siren toggle. So we can go ahead and go back to our game. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. That's the sound of the police. Whoop, whoop. That's the sound of the police. Okay, well, I'll stop.
you guys are wondering what I'm doing, um, uh oh. That makes me think, and we're right. Okay. Looks like our GTA 5 crashed. Um, I can't tell you why. I don't know. Uh, we're going to go ahead and re-click it. We're going to try to get it going again. It crashes too many times, and I'm just going to have to cut to uh, time that it doesn't crash. Uh, in the meantime, uh, what I was trying to say was my brother just gave uh, got me for my birthday a Nintendo Switch uh, with the game that I have been wanting to play for a very long time. Uh, so I went ahead and had to catch up with all the other... Uh, Zelda's before I was, you know, wanting to do it like this. Um, but yeah, so Breath of the Wild is a game that I have. I have loved Zelda for as far as I can remember. You know, pretty much every Zelda game I've ever gotten my hands on. Um, one of my favorites, even to this day, is still uh, Ocarina of Time. And so I just got really happy when he uh, he ended up giving me this, and it's just I'm a, I'm just really excited. So Toby, if you're, you're watching this video, I appreciate you, and I thank you very, very, very much for this opportunity and for this gift. Alright, so now we're loading into the game. And again, we're going to hope that it doesn't crash because it, it's had a tendency to not like uh, loading in on duty. Uh, I'm, I'm only trying to prevent that because it's not like it's a hassle for me to go in and edit a video. It actually sounds like it just loaded in on duty. It did. It did. I know what you mean. Cool. We might do a little call out showcase then. Uh, anyway, so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to take our, our, because we didn't have it set to load, we're going to go load, plug in, and we're going to go down to our Siren Mastery. We're going to go ahead and make sure it's all set up. I'm going to hit enter. This is start loading everything in. And it says it was successful. And it's not really going to do anything because I don't have anything in here for it to do. I mean, you can still see in the bottom uh, right hand corner. So if I hit L, it'll go away. The problem is now, every time I hit L, Okay, we're gonna go ahead and we're not gonna be in the game for very long anyway. Um, so if you notice, this is a non ELS car. So you will notice. When I press one, so that's one through four um, on the the top part of the keyboard, not the number pad. Uh, those are the default sirens that are in place, um, and you will also notice if we go back in here. We now have a vehicle siren setup XML. 
So that is what I was trying to get you guys to notice earlier with uh, the different files that were in here. This wasn't in here before. And so what we're going to do is we're going to open this up. And it shows you, you can please review Siren Mastery documentation for full instruction on how to set this up. Uh, there is also a folder included, Siren Mastery download containing da 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 da. Uh, and you can also add as many vehicles as you want to. So I'm going to show you guys, because this is uh, the one before I made my backup, which, where's my backup? Okay, so this is my plugins folder. And go to our Siren Mastery backup, Siren Mastery, and then you'll see in here, in Custom Sirens, you can go ahead and download um, different packs. So I went ahead and I downloaded uh, Siren Packs, and it's United States Siren Mega Pack 1.6.1. And it, it goes through all these different sirens, like these are all code 3. Um, you just go in here. And, and you find all the different ones that you like, you know, the Mastercom. So you can hear some of them are a little bit longer than some of the other ones. And that's okay. You just try to figure out which ones that you want, and then you go back in. Oh, Siren Mastery, go to my backup. You find out which ones you want. So I just happen to like these ones, you know. All right, so we're going to go back here, which I can just go ahead and copy these all over. I might just break the game. So, so sorry. But if we go into, yes, replace all. Which file? Oh, the vehicle. Okay, then skip that. Because I don't need to recreate the vehicles over. Skip. Skip for all of them. But we can go ahead and open mine. Then we're going to compare it to the ones that they have in there. So this is the one that they, they give you vehicle setup for. And go back and this is the one that's currently running. So it does have mine in there. You can see uh, basically anytime you do a vehicle siren setup, you have to do a vehicle siren setup. You have to have a vehicle model. And then you have to have sirens one, uh, at least one secondary uh, and at least one horn. And actually, if you go back into our documentation for this, you see primary. A primary siren is played when activating or unmuting your siren or switching back from um, secondary. Siren setups must contain at least one primary. Uh, siren setups must contain at least one secondary and then one horn. Forced only. Uh, siren is only played when explicitly selecting with one of the four siren key uh, this option, this is optional in Siren setups, and that's completely fine. Kind of gives you all the presets that you can do, uh, and then it gives you like a breakdown of how to do this, um, and it shows you just like how I did it. So, for my police, my police two, my police ranger, uh, my primary, secondary, secondary, is uh, these files right here, and it has to be word for word, case for case of how you have it in your custom sirens. Because if you do not have this right here, it will crash your game. So you have to be very careful with how you guys do this. If you guys have any issues, let me know. Um, but you can always just make it. I cannot stress this enough. When you go and it actually loads your vehicle siren setup, make a backup of it somewhere. Because if you ever have any issues, you can just go back to it. Um, because if you have, if this isn't in closing, if this isn't here to show that it's closing this vehicle model, um, if this is misspelled, if this is misspelled, 
anything in here is off. It will throw a fit. Um, but anyway, we've got my police in there. we got my ambulance, FBI 2, police 3, sheriff 2, FBI. Uh, shoot. So I've got all my different ones in here. Go ahead and close these out. See that they all went in there just fine. <clears throat> now that I have a million windows open, we should be able to go back to my game. And what we're going to do is we're going to reload. Uh, I don't want to do plugins. So what we'll do is we'll do unload plugin. We will unload Siren Mastery. It says it's been cleaned up. So we're going to, you always want to give it a second too. So when you do that, come back out for a second, hit F4 again, close it, give it a time so it can actually, because this basically stops all threading. So nothing else is going through. So you want to let it do its thing, close it out, let other plugins have a chance to like understand what's going on and come back in here and load plugin. Go back down to Siren Mastery. And if you guys remember, uh, this is my police two or three. I can't remember. But you now can hear all these are different sirens now. kind of want to give me a little bit of an issue. Um, the only thing that I don't like about it uh, is you, you pretty much have to use the keys at the top, which you can change it. And then there's, there's a few settings in there, and we can go over those in just a second. But when you get out of the car, the further you get away, supposed to quiet it down so I guess maybe I don't have that settings in there because okay so now that is our that is that car we're gonna go ahead and go to our vehicle spawning should be able to come in here and go to like actually our ambulance should be just Oh, if I don't park it on top of my car. So you can hear, it will work with uh, ELS vehicles. Should work. There we go. I mean, here it's a little bit on the quieter side. And there's a setting to turn it up. So you can definitely hear that in there. Oops, let me just go ahead and hit that car. And they should all be correct for what I have them set in there for, right? FBI 2 is not going to sound like my FBI 1. You can still hear it's a little bit quiet. So we're going to go ahead. We are going to go uh, into our configs. General. You see a different things in here. So decimal sound between. 
0 0.4 and 1. The default siren is 0 0.04. So we're probably going to have to turn this up to about 35. Uh, it is what it recommends for the siren. This is actually, uh, if we go back into our siren mastery, siren packs, uh, sirens, must read. Um, I know it says this uh, this is an installation instruction, but it's amazing how many people have been messaging me asking why the sirens are so quiet. Um, there we go. Okay, there we go. Must bump your siren up to 0.35, otherwise your sirens will be quiet. So that's the one thing I just did, right? We just changed it to 0 0.04, which just starts off to 0.35. Uh, and then setting this true disables siren mastery functionality for vehicles that have ELS uh, VCF file. And then you see disable for ELS vehicles is false, uh, which is why I have it in there. It's default true. Just go in there, change it really quick, uh, and then you should be good to go. And then now that we've made that change, we'll go ahead and save it. Yep. Um, and you can do the other thing too. The, you small scaling or number position oh we should see and you can always do this I don't really like this so we're just gonna go ahead and set it to false you guys gotta make sure that you go ahead and save it uh, you gotta make sure that you spell it correctly all lowercase um, some things are a little bit different than others uh, but we'll go ahead We'll do unload siren mastery. Ooh, look at that. It's been cleaned up. Do the thing again. And then load siren mastery. So you can do it fairly quickly. You just have to give it enough time. And now you can hear just how much louder they are. That's actually kind of really loud. That's okay. And so now you've got all these different sirens in here. All right, go back to our ambulance really quick um, because we noticed that that was really quiet. got everything set up how we want to and uh, you now fully installed siren mastery so I want to say thank you guys so much to watch or for watching uh, thank you CJ uh, Jeffrey gamer for the suggestion on how to install siren mastery I hope this help you uh, helps you guys if anybody has any questions send me a message and I'd be happy to answer or comment down below if you guys like it, please give me a like and a sub. I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel. Uh, Got to get up there with Jeffrey and CJ. It's going to take me a minute, but... <laughs> Excuse me. Anyway, thank you guys so much, uh, and I will see you in my next video. All right, bye guys.